What's up, guys? <coughs> David B here. Doing a little guitar review for you guys. Um, and uh, I'm going to do a review on a guitar a lot of you people have been asking about, which is my instrument of choice. It's a Fender 1989 All Original Heavy Metal Strat. Not a Stratocaster, a Strat. Um, difference in the guitars as well. For one thing, the Strat was discontinued in '92. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Um, very, very thin neck, thin body, very light. Um, basically, this guitar was made for heavy metal. Um, and personally, I love it. Um, has one humbucker in it, a Kaler Spider Bridge, one volume of tone, three way toggle with coil tap in it. Um, well, I mean, two way toggle. Uh, my toggle switch, actually, the original one, <laughs> got broken off the guitar, and the only way my friend said he could replace it was with a three-way toggle, so I was like, okay, whatever. So, two of the settings are just the same cool tap, and then the non-cool tap, but that's a different story. Um, let's see, 24 frets, maple, no, not maple, <laughs> maple, rosewood neck, baseball body. Um, and yeah, it's uh, made in the USA. You can check that out somewhere right there. Yeah, you can see. Uh, there was a lot of speculation on these guitars being made in Japan, but um, this one was actually made in the USA. Um, you can tell one by the craftsman work. Two things, the one that was supposed to be made in Japan that said made in the USA up here and not down here. But hey, whatever. Um, I'm playing out of a Roland Microcube amp on the acoustic setting right now. Um, completely clean, yeah. There's no effects on it. And uh, I'm in standard tuning. Um, you can go anywhere from, you know, clean country style type things all the way to, you know, heavy metal stuff. That's what, you know, you're doing. Um, and that's what you're playing. <sighs> Let's see. Now I'm going to put a little tiny bit of gain behind it. And uh, play pretty much. This isn't really a demonstration of my skills. This is just... You know, a demonstration of the guitar for you to have here. So I'm gonna play pretty much the same thing, a lot of the same riffs, over and over again. But you know, they're good, uh, good versatile riffs, and uh, you know, they're good things to hear this guitar on. So here we go, a little bit of gain on it, not too much, but a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, um, 
Well, that was that a little bit of twang to it. Uh, by the way, I am just playing with the full humbucker right now. I don't have any coil taps on it. Um, to be completely honest, like the sound of the coil tap, it's not a feedback to it. You can get that. I don't know if you can. Um, I'm not. Really Again, also, I'm going to go ahead and drop the tuning. If you've ever seen my videos, you know that I usually play in drop D, drop C. And, uh, gain and tone cranked up all the way, going through the R fire setting, wherever that is, um, on the roll micro cube. And I forgot to tell you guys, I'm playing through a uh, blue snowball microphone, and this thing's beauty. And, uh, yeah, here, here goes the... Show you guys how it handles effects and uh, some chorus to it as well. And um, what is on? Check out my channel and shout out shreds. Thanks.